I'm in a scientific breeder facility in Central Texas, right outside of San Antonio, on uh, Teresa and Jerry Johnston's scientific breeder program. It's called JohnstonTrophyWhitetails.com. And I'm here today to show you uh, this group of bucks. These are one and two year old bucks. Again, we're in a breeding facility, but I wanted to show you the antler development this time of the year. It's July 1st, it's over 100 degrees in Central Texas, and I wanted to show you the antler development. And most of these antlers, I would say, are at least 50%, maybe 60% developed. Uh, the core of the uh, antlers are set. You can see the main beam length. You can see the, the num most of the number of upright tines, the brow tines. So, you know, this buck here, he looks like he's gonna be a typical nine or maybe a 10 point. He still has some main beam to finish out. And of course, he's got a lot more points. You notice the antlers are, the, are covered in velvet. Those are external blood vessels. And you notice they're real blunt on the end. They're not sharp like they are in the fall. They're very blunt. They're very soft. These antlers are pliable. I could take this antler and move it just a little bit. I'm not gonna do that because it'd make the deer very uncomfortable, but they, you can do that. These deer, they have their nerves, nerve endings are growing on these velvet antlers and they know where their antlers are and they're very, very protective of them. They're not gonna hit the fence. They're not gonna rub on brush. They don't wanna hurt those velvet antlers at all. So they're very, very protective this time of the year. But again, they're, they're, they're well over 50% formed, uh, minus some small kickers and you know extra, extra points and that kind of stuff. But I just want to show you where we're at here, July 1st, uh, exceeding 100 degrees for several consecutive days here. And uh, these deer have a lot of stress to put up with, not just the heat, but the lack of wind, gnats, flies, bugs, ticks, deer kids, uh, the whole thing. So there's a lot of stress going on in both sexes. Uh, the does right now are having babies and or they're lactating. Uh, Jerry and Teresa have several sets of quads this year. That's extremely nutritionally stressful for the mama to give not only the volume of milk, but the quality of milk that all four of those little fawns need. So there's a lot of stress going on in the deer pens right now. But the same stresses uh, apply to the deer in the wild. So again, uh, we talk about deer antlers in the fall and that kind of stuff, but we're really interested in deer antlers in July. Uh, we've got to minimize the stress. We've got to allow enough nutrition to, to not only leave the belly of this deer, but go up to his head. Antlers are secondary appendages. They're not required for living. Uh, so, so Mother Nature says, I'm gonna take care of the body first and the secondary appendages second. And that could be a fawn if you're a female, that could be antlers if you're a buck. So we want all the extra nutrition that that deer can possibly get so that they can go into and feed these, these velvet growing antlers. For Whitetail Domains, I'm Macy Ledbetter.